Hello and welcome BMA students to Mrs. Bingo's tutorial for creating logos and designing images with Microsoft Publisher. You'll begin developing your dream team identity by designing a logo. A logo is a symbol or other design adopted by an organization used to identify its products. You're probably familiar with some of these popular sports logos the Detroit Lions, the Michigan State Spartans, or maybe the Detroit Red Wings. After you complete the worksheet, PG2 Team Logo Planning Form, open Microsoft Publisher. Because I'm working in Publisher 2013, my screen and options may be a little bit different from yours. Once you're in Publisher, click New and go to More Blank Page Sizes. You may choose any blank size you wish, but remember that your logo will be this same size whenever inserted in other documents. I would recommend choosing a size smaller than 11 by 8.5. I am going to use 6 by 4. When designing your logo, it is important to remember that a logo should look good at all sizes. It should look good if it were very large on your page, and it should look good if it were very small on your page. Either way, you should be able to read what the content is and see any graphics that you wish to include. Currently, I'm making a logo for my hometown athletic team for my high school that I graduated from. We were the Atlanta Huskies. Choosing a font is incredibly important in designing a logo. You want it to look nice, but you also want it to be easy to read. And it also will set a tone for what image you're trying to show off. I think I'm going to change that font. I think I can do a little bit better than that. There. I like Britannic Bold. Make it a little bit larger. And there. I have the logo that I want. I included the school, the school mascot, and a picture of the mascot. I also included my team's colors. You should choose your dream team's colors and use them in your logo design. It's very important to also keep your logo simple so it is easily recognized. Once you finish your logo, you must save it. This is where it gets sort of tricky, so please pay close attention. Click File, Save As. Once your Save As dialog box opens, click Pictures along the left-hand panel. For the document type, you want to click the down arrow and go down to JPEG, File Interchange Format. When you save a document as a JPEG, it saves your logo as a picture so it can be easily inserted into other documents. After save as, saving as a JPEG, I suggest also just saving it as a regular publisher file. Then 
That way, if you want to edit it later on and improve it, you can also go back to it and just work with what you already created. So when you finish, you can open a Microsoft Word document and just sort of see how your logo will look. So there you go, and it just saves it as a picture. This concludes your tutorial on creating logos with Microsoft Publisher. 